Had a couple of good days at Gosford, but it's time to head to Port Hacking. We cruise past Pretty Bay. It's aptly named as there is some quaint boathouses right on the water's edge. It's a bleak day as we head out past Lion Island and back to sea. We pass North Head and get a glimpse of Sydney through the haze. We will leave an exploration of the harbour for our trip north. We are soon entering Port Hacking and heading into Gunnamatta Bay where Norm has arranged to meet an old boating mate. Plenty of waterfront property here as well. Steve comes out to meet us in his dinghy and takes us for a guided tour of the waterways and bays in Port Hacking. We stop for lunch at Southwest Arm near Graham Point before heading back to Gunnamatta Bay. We were chasing a bit of northerly to head down the coast, but they've changed the forecast, gone around to the southeast. So we're going to spend a few days in here. Uh, it's a great spot, shops, close to everything. Big problem is there's a lot of boats in here, so it's pretty hard to find a spot to anchor. We're going to spend a day here and then head over to Gibbon Beach. There's some uh, courtesy moorings over there, so we'll pick one of them up and it gives you good shelter out of the southeaster. So we'll just hang there for a couple of days, wait for this weather to go back to the north be on it again. As we head to Gibbon Beach, we are passed by the Bundina Ferry. We pick up one of the moorings, then Steve and his son Russell come out to take Norm sailing. I am happy to stay on board as a storm is approaching. The boys have a good sail and get back just before the rain hits. We wake to a much brighter morning, so it's time to go ashore and do the track around Gibbon Point. An easy 1.6k walk from our anchorage at Gibbon Beach, and we're on the ocean beach. It looks pretty nice out there at the moment, but the wind's supposed to get up from the south this afternoon, so we're just going to have a bit of a look around. Being the weekend, all of a sudden the anchorage is pretty crowded. A weather window in the afternoon sees us leaving for an overnighter to Batemans Bay.